Sun County Raceway back in action on Eyewitness News Night at the Races, August 15, 2015. We kick things off with the future stars of racing, the Junior Mini Dwarfs, the five to eight year old racers. An action packed start for points leader Kale McClinney as he picks his way through the field and into the lead. Keep your eyes on the yellow number 24 of Trenton Yurto. Trenton is a quick study and he proved that with a clean pass for the lead. Into turn number one, McClinney makes contact with Yurto. Yurto spins. And another caution comes out sending both drivers to the back of the field. Three laps to go and the number 15 of Tristan Pettit would inherit the lead. And he would take full advantage leading the final three laps for his first victory of 2015. The elder statesman of the Mini Dwarfs would be up next. The 9 to 13 year olds in the Senior Mini Dwarf Division. The green flag is in the air and the 87 car of Seth Wise would lead early. Young, who's also looking for her sixth win of the year, continues to apply the pressure on Wise. Kersey Young with a great run off of turn number four, and into turn number one, muscles her way into the lead. Young would hang on for an amazing sixth win in a row for the young lady driver. Up next would be the Inex Legends. On the initial start, out of turn number four, contact and cars heading towards the wall. Jerry Flippo out of the car under his own power. However, Bannister would have to be transported to the hospital with a leg injury. 10 stitches in the knee, but no broken bones. Now back to racing action on the restart. Eric Olson would take the lead with the number five of Garrett Fine right on his tail. Garrett Fine would continue to apply the pressure to the MMI Services number 17 of Eric Olson. And here is the race winning move. Garrett Fine to the inside of Olsen on lap number six to take the lead. Fine would continue to lead. Contact on the front straightaway between the number 71 of Josh Ayers and Eric Olsen. That would bring out a late caution. Back to racing action and a run to the finish. Garrett Fine would pull away late and earn his first career Legends victory at Kern County Raceway. Up next would be the NASCAR Late Models, the first of two twin 35 lap main events. The number four of Brian Richardson wasn't rusty at all. He takes over the lead on lap number two, passing the 15 of Lance Wilson. Richardson would open up a several car length advantage over the 22S of Buddy Shepard, who has now moved up into second. The 44 car of points leader Eric Richardson would run third and apply heavy pressure to the 22 of Shepard as the race begins to wind down. Late in the race, Buddy Shepard now closing the gap between himself and the number four of Brian Richardson. It's going to be a three car battle to the finish. But the number four car of Brian Richardson would win in his successful return to Kern County Raceway. The first responders in the 911 series would be next. Brian Eidenschink would start on the pole for the Kern County Sheriff's Department and lead early. Eidenschink and Schmick would battle back and forth. Check out this crossover move for the lead as Eidenschink gets back out in front. The battle would continue between Eidenschink and Schmick from Taft PD. Steve Schmick, who has a super fast car, takes over the lead from Eidenschink. And Steve Schmick would hang on to give the Taft Police Department their first win ever at Kern County Raceway. More quarter mile action at Kern County Raceway with the Inex Bandoleros. The number 25 of Lane McDonald making his season debut in the division jumps out to an early lead. Trouble in turn number three, spinning in the apex of three and four, the number eight car of Jeremy Clark. Clark gets it refired and we stay green. Points leader, Cave McClinney in the 05 car starting to make his move. McClinney picking his way through the field to take the lead on lap number seven. The number eight machine of Jeremy Clark after the early spin starts to make his way towards the front. But Cave McClinney would run a flawless race from lap number six to see the checkers to earn his fifth win of 2015 and extend his points lead. Now back to the half mile. Next up, the NASCAR spec mods. The green flag is in the air. Here's your points leader, Brock Thompson, in the number two machine, blowing a tire and spinning in the apex of three and four. The number 97 of Tanner Wattenbarger would lead this caution-filled first 11 laps. Copy on the restart would power around Tanner Wattenbarger in the red 97 machine to take the lead. Copy would drive away from the rest of the field an entire straightaway advantage over second place, the number two of Brock Thompson. 
Coming out of turn number four, it's all Jim Coffee in the eight machine. He sees the checkered flag to earn his second win of 2015. But bad news for the number nine team of Jim Coffee in post-race inspection. A broken part would DQ the number nine car of Jim Coffey, giving the win to the number two machine of driver Brock Thompson. The final main of the evening on Eyewitness News Night at the Races at Kern County Raceway. The NASCAR Late Models, 35 lap feature, the 40 of Cole Adamo and the 15 of Lance Wilson side by side out of turn number two. Great wheel to wheel racing down the back straightaway into turn number three. The 51 car of Wayson Vernon to the lead. And he's gonna bring the 44 of Eric Richardson with him into second. Eric Richardson in the 44 car and the 51 of race and vernon would battle door handle to door handle and side by side for several laps eric richardson with a power move exiting turn number four has the advantage on vernon as they enter turn number one richardson to the lead richardson would take over the lead on lap number 15 and pull away from the rest of the field shepherd would work on vernon for seven or eight laps and finally make the pass late in the race to come home in second race and vernon would finish third but your winner in the number 44 summer ride car his ninth victory of 2015 your current points leader eric richardson